Hi guys, or whoever's watching. Um, I want to make this really quick. Um, I just I was watching videos on Connect Four on YouTube, and I came across this one video by Noah Caxor, and or Cascor. Oh, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, I saw that someone had commented about what's called the row system in Connect Four, and I mean, if you're a really serious player, which there's not many people who care, um, but I thought it would be cool to point point something out about the strategy. So I, I got out this Connect 4 board, let me just clear it quick, um, to sort of show you actually where um, Noah goes wrong um, in showing you. Um, he starts out, I don't want to make this really quick, starts out in the middle and he says that that's the best place to go, and that is true. Um, as the first player, always go in the middle if you, if you want to win. If you want to be tricky and whatever, you can go elsewhere, but this is going to be your best ch uh, best option, best chance of winning. Then he has the second player go top. Um, I know actually a lot of good players. Um, I Well, anyway, I play on this site called flyordie.com, and there's a lot of crazy good players who know uh, like all the strategies, except maybe a few, and each person knows different strategies. So it's, it's, it's a really cool, interactive um, environment. Um, and he said that for... The second player, the best option is to go on top of that. Um, I, I don't know about that. Um, I think any, I think the worst place to go is on the side here. Um, although some crazy good players do that and they end up winning, but if you know where to go, um, then you'll know how to how to beat it. Um, but he goes there, and then he has the next the first player, yellow. Um, I believe here. I lied. I believe actually. He has them go here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, sorry. Um, and then he explains that. Um, well, first of all, let me say that this is actually a loss already. <laughs> it's a loss already um, for the first player. Because um, blue, he ha or blue, God. red, the second player, he has go here. Um, and he says, yep, you're setting that up for the win there. Okay, that's true. And then he has this player go on top. And then he says here that the best option for the second player, for red, is to go here to get that there. Um, that's not true. The, the best option is to go here. And you've basically already won. Um, anyway, what the row system is that I wanted to explain, because I saw someone comment on it, and I said, very good point. I'll make a video response. Um, the row system is that a mathematical fact in Connect4, I know it's not that crazy serious, but... It's fun and it's cool to know. It helps with strategy. Um, is that the second player will always win in the second row? So you want to block there if you're if you're yellow, the next player. But um, also the the second, the fourth, and the sixth. So the second player will win if they have like an open spot, a winning move in the in any of the even rows. Um, and the first player will win if they have in a winning move in any of the odd rows. Um, and so I know this video, this video is actually kind of taking one of the strategies he was showing you out in a different way, I guess, um, down a different course. Um, he had the this go here, which is that takes away the win from the from the second player. So basically, he had it how he was playing. First player made their first move. Okay, that's the winning move. Next is blue. Okay, well, you're defending. Next is <laughs> the first player. Um, that's a lose, a, a loss, a losing move, I meant to say, and then I just said lose. Um, then the second player went here. That's a win. Then he had the first player go here. That's a loss. Second player go here. That's a loss. And then he had the other player go, I think, here. And that's a win for the first player. So he was going back and forth. I um, mean, it was clear that the row system wasn't being addressed. Um, and this already, I can I can sort of tell, is it's the second player's move. They go here. They've won the game um, because they have the, this is the fourth row. One, two, three, four. It's the fourth row, and that's the second player. So they're going to win either there or in one of these two spots because they already have two going across. Okay, so then let's see what yellow can do in this case. I'm going to just finish this game really quick or, or get to a point where I can show you, I can kind of prove to you that yellow's going to lose. Second player's going to win. 
Now in this case, you see this trap, of course. Uh, red already, second player already has the win there. Um, and then they're going for this going down here, so you need to block there. So the, first player, the first player is already playing way too defensively, so you can tell that you're going to lose if you're the first player. And now it's, it's hopeless for red, and this is where I'll stop. Um, unless, unless, well, actually, yeah, unless the second player goes here, then the second player is going to win, unless they go here. So let's go here to make every space even. Now he's just made, the second player has made every space even, you can see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four, six, and six. Every place is even. So it's going to go yellow, red, yellow, red. So yellow, red, yellow, red. Okay, yellow's going to avoid this for now because the red's going to win there. If yellow goes there and then red goes here, they're getting that second this second row win again, so they're kind of just confirming it. Um, if they go here, let's just do that quickly. Yellow, red. Now yellow has to block this because it's going to make this trap here, but if they block it, it's going to make this trap here. So as you can see, the second player has won. Um, um, I'm thinking about making other videos. Um, I don't know if people are really interested. I know a lot of people um, watched Noah's video, and um, it, it helped some people, and that's cool. Um, I just wanted to disabuse um, that that strategy because it's actually incorrect, and it's not. It's imperfect. I'm gonna say. And he played one imperfect move after another, and that's how the first player won. And I just showed you there how the second player actually in that first when the first player makes that first imperfect move, how the second player can capitalize on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of long, seven minutes, on one of my longer ones. Um, but I felt that that needed to be addressed because if you if you care about the strategy of Connect4, which I know is just a game not many people care, um, if you care to learn strategies, then I can make more videos about it too. I know a lot of strategies, and it's really fun, I think. Um, but anyway, definitely check out flyordie.com. My name on there is Nisus, N-I-S-U-S, just like my YouTube name. Um, and I'm pretty good, and if, if you recognize me on there, and um, just send me a, a message or whatever, say hello, um, and I'll play you in a game, and etc. Alright, take care, bye.